Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. So when we last left our fortress we were getting ready to do some trading. We had selected a bunch of goods to move to the trading depot but we hadn't really gotten much further than that. We were also getting these drawbridges set up to act as our defense. So let's carry on uh, without much further ado. So we can see our dwarves carrying the uh, items up to the uh, caravan or to the trade depot sorry. So we will be able to take advantage of that here hopefully shortly. And what is our, our trader currently doing? Uh, he's set to, he's trading at the depot right now, so we can really trade at just about any time. Is that other lever built yet? No, nope, of course not. So nope, we'll leave it for now. And we'll just wait for all the items to get moved over. And that should be good enough. Okay, so before our trader decides that he wants to go off and drink somewhere, let's do some trading. So trading is fairly straightforward. You're not really trading so much in money. You're trading in items of value. So for instance, a shade silver bar is worth four, it has 40 value. Now, the distinction between that and money is, you know, pretty fine, but here's the difference. If I were to say, want, uh, I wanted to buy that shade silver bar. Well, chances are, if he was willing to trade one for one, I could give him, say, two rough rose quartz. But that would be 60, but I wouldn't get 20 value, you know, 20 coins back, essentially. You know, the value would be gone. Now, here's the other thing. Traders are not in this just to trade, to trade even. They want to make money. So what you have to do is you have to give them uh, more value than what the item is worth. And the more value you give them, the happier the trader will be the more likely they are to come back to your fortress. If you try to stiff them and you try to do it too much, then they will tell you to shove off and won't trade with you anymore. So you have to be kind of careful with the way you do these things. General rule of thumb is I like to trade. I like to select all the things I want to buy. And then I set myself a value of 1.3 times that amount that I have to uh, match to be able to trade with the trader. And that seems to work fairly well for me. So let's go ahead and see what he's got. He's got some, uh, let me see, some various metal bars, which eh, not really useful to us right now. So we're just going to skip past all those. He's got some raw green glass. We're going to grab a couple of these. And the reason why is because if a dwarf gets struck by a mood, they might want glass. And if we don't have any, that dwarf could go insane. So it's always good to keep a couple pieces around just in case. And then you can also set up a glass industry if that's kind of how you want your fort to make money. But it's a little bit harder to make money that way, so we're not really going to be covering it in this tutorial per se. Now we do want to grab some ropes. Ropes, Rope is rope is rope, so grab the cheap stuff. So let's grab a couple of ropes. Uh, again, rope is rope. We don't really need to worry about it too much. Some musical instruments, which are absolutely worthless. Uh, we have some cage, we have a hammer golem, boulder crabs, all useful under the right circumstances, stances, but we really don't have all that much to trade right now, so this is basically just focusing on the bare necessities. Uh, let me see. We should probably grab some, uh, some booze. Eh, then again, I think we've been doing pretty good on booze. We're going to leave it for now. We, we'll check on our booze stocks after we're done here, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're okay. If we're not, we can come back and trade some more. So let's skip over the booze for now. Uh, let's see. Nothing else really jumping out at me so far as anything that we might need. Yeah, he's got a pick, but not really worth it. Again, we we got to try to keep thing costs down here. Only buying the bare necessities until we can afford to buy more. Now, if you really know what you're doing with this game, it's entirely possible to have a good selection of things ready to trade by the time that first caravan shows up. If you don't, do not worry about it. It's really not all that big of a deal. The caravan can provide some fairly useful items. It can help uh, ease food shortages and drink, for, uh, drink shortages. But it's not super duper, you know, it's not super duper uh, uh, bad if you're not ready to go by the time the trader shows up. It all depends on your start, too. If you have a super easy start, it's easier to get your industries up and running. 
if you have a really hard start, then chances are you're not going to be ready to go by the time they arrive. So just use, uh, you know, as I said, don't don't freak out if you don't have anything made to sell by the time they show up. Just kind of ignore the fact that they exist and carry on with the rest of your fort. And again, I'm not really seeing anything. Okay, here we go. Now we're starting to see some cloth. Again, nothing I really want here. To, go, to page through it, by the way, press uh, 3 on the numpad. Uh, some cloth. Again, I usually buy cloth, but in this instance... Actually, you know what? We should buy some... Go back up here. We should buy some wool. And the reason why is if we have any injuries, we want to make sure that we can bandage them. And for that, you need cloth. So let's skip past all that. We also need thread, so we have to keep an eye out for that. Mostly, I'm just looking to buy medical supplies at this point. because Those seem to be some of the harder things to get a hold of. We have some anvils, but again, keeping things cheap here. Yeah, here, we do have food. And food is one of those things that I tend to buy whenever it's available. I don't buy fresh hearts because they're 50, um, 50 value. 50, I'm just going to say 50 coins, but it's, they're not actually coins. Just keep that in mind. They're 50 coins for, uh, for each one. And really not worth all that much. I mean, the dwarves like to eat them, but you can get the same amount of food for far less money. So we're going to buy some intestines, more intestines, some stomachs, uh, some regular meat, some more intestines, more intestines, more stomachs. And let's grab some more meat. And we'll grab a couple of fish. That should be good for now. Again, as you go, you'll probably want to buy some uh, more food, but we have to kind of be a little bit careful with how we do things here. Ah, here we go. We have some yarn and some thread. We want to buy the thread, actually. So we'll buy a couple things of thread. Anything else we want to buy on here? Some backpacks. Those would be really useful for our military later on. I'll go into why, but not right now. Uh, some crutches. We can make those on our own. Okay, so that's basically all we really um, we really need. And if we take this, it's a 260 value. If we go into our calculator, and so 260 times 1.3. So we need to reach about 338 value. Now, the first thing we want to trade is our mechanisms. And the reason why is we want to save as many of these uh, rose quartz to cut later on. So we're going to sell up the mechanisms first. That gets us about to 270. So we still need about 68 uh, value. So let's sell three of these rose quartz. So that's 30, 60, 90. That should be more than enough. Now, make sure that when you're done, you do not press um, O because it might make sense that you're offering him these goods at, in trade. That's not what would actually happen. Basically, if I were to press O right now, all the things that I've marked off as, as for trade, I would give them to him. That's not what we, want, what we want to do either. Also, make sure that you don't press S while you're on the, win, uh, the buyer's window because that basically means that everything that you've marked off, you're just going to take. You're not going to pay for it, which will make them angry, understandably. To perform the trade, press T. Okay, so he didn't accept that, probably because our uh, dude doing the trading isn't very good at it. He wants five more rose quartz. That brings the value up to about 510. And you know what? That's okay. So let's press accept. Okay. And that's all we really need there, except for we did want to check how many or how much drink we had. So if we go over to our stocks... And go down to, where's drinks? Uh, drinks, here we go. Nope, drinks. Really? We have none? No, it's saying we have like 200. All right, that sounds more more like it. Let's actually, uh, how do I pull up the damn workflow thing again? Uh, I think this might be glitching out on me again. All right, we'll do it this way. Down to here. Here, control W. Control W. Uh, all right, where is DF hack? There we go. Now, control W. There we go. Uh, apparently, we actually don't have any drinks, so we might want to trade for some. 
I thought we had we had some. Do we not? Pause. I'm not ready to keep going yet. Let me see. Fish barrel, fish barrel, plant barrels. What's in this plant barrel? Uh, plump helmets. Yeah, we have plenty of plump helmets. Why are we not making booze? Do we not have somebody set up to be our uh, brewer? Did I screw up that badly? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is cooking? Where is... Oh, brewing. Here we go. Yeah, we have somebody set up to brew. He's also our farmer, though, so maybe we should get somebody else to do that. Yeah. Okay, you're going to be the new brewer, and because you are both our cook and a brewer, we're going to remove all your hauling jobs because you will do nothing else. All right. So, yeah, we have plenty to make booze out of. We just don't have any made for some reason. Still waiting for that other lever, lever to be constructed. All right, so we're done trading here. So we are going to tell that the trader that he can go and do whatever. He's going to go and conduct a meeting, which will basically continue that whole liaison thing that we started earlier. Ah, speaking of, here it is. So if we look over the documents... This is what they're basically going to be selling us. So basically, if we want to buy scale, we're going to be buying it at a 200% markup. Uh, just because that we requested it. That's the downside to requesting as well. Is You don't want to request so much that they can mark up everything. So it's the type of thing. Make sure you're requesting according to your needs. Maybe I shouldn't put the priority all the way to the, to the side. Because that means they're going to bring a lot. But it also means we're paying a higher markup. You know, use your discretion. But for the most part, I just throw it all the way over to the side. Because... By the time they should get, these guys show up next year, we should have a pretty good uh, set of items to sell as uh, when when we're ready to sell to them again. So I'm not too too worried about it. All right. Uh, oh, I know why he's not why we're not making any more booze. We don't have any barrels. All right. What is this? Oh, he's a furnace operator. All right. It was just a really weird sprite. <laughs> looked uh, looked very interesting. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go UM, new order, and we want to make uh, some stone storage, make stone storage sets. And we're going to go ahead and make like three of those. Oh, we're saving. We'll let this run its course. My throat is killing me because I've been recording all day. <laughs> Definitely need to get myself a drink after this. I have my, my energy drink here, but, oh man, that does not actually help restore the moisture to my throat. <laughs> okay, so the saving is done. Now, one thing we should be looking to do is actually get some noble rooms set up. So, to do that, we need to get some more bedrooms made. Let me see, do we have some beds lying around already? Did I already make 11? Yes, I did. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and go to here and we're going to set up this one by hand as well and then from now on uh from that point afterwards we're going to use quick fort so anyway so let's go build we want armor stands and we want to plan this just to get it done quickly we want to go here we want a bed which goes here we want a seat which goes here we want a door which goes here oops a door which goes here, 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 and here. We want, what else do we need? Cabinet, which goes here. Oops. I'm screwing this up, I am. Cabinet goes here. We apparently did not set the seat or the bed. All right. Seat goes here. Bed goes here. Uh, we've already set up the doors, we've already set up the cabinets, containers, go into planning mode, go here and here, and then the last but not least, we need the armor stand, oh, we also need a table, so go into planning mode, table goes there, nope, I said table goes there. And we need a weapon rack to round everything off. Uh, weapon rack, why am I not seeing it? The one thing I wish is that these lists on the side were in alphabetical order. 
I will never understand why that is not the case. Anyway, weapon rack goes there. Now, I think we actually have to set a office to be built as well as a few doors. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use our manager for that since our manager is just so handy. So we're going to go stone office set. And we're going to tell him we actually want to make two of these because we want to get another noble office set up fairly quickly. So we might as well just make two. The next thing we want is we want to make up a few doors. Door, stone. Now, ah, this is uh, one thing to uh, note as well, is we don't actually have to type them out in the order that they appear. I typed door rock, and we see construct rock door. And we want to uh, constr uh, make a rock door from two blocks, just because that's a little easier for our dwarves to handle. And let's just make five, just so that we have some extra doors, because I like dwarves. I like dwarves, and I like doors. All right. Now, this screen shows what the merchants themselves are request are requesting. So, for instance, if we were to sell them, oh, in this instance, crossbows, they'd be willing to buy them at 137% uh, of their regular price. Large gems would be 209% of their regular price, so on and so forth. You can build from this if you really want. Uh, it could be useful to get some extra money, but to be perfectly honest, I've never really seen the point. I just build what I think is, is best and go from there. Now, speaking of, we're still waiting for that lever to be built. Getting a little irritated there. We should get our storage sets here. What a storage set is, is basically a set of bins and a set of barrels made out of stone. Oh, okay, we have no pigtails, that's fine. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is a bin. This uh, white square with an X on it, that's a bin. So we can start storing. If you see, he's picking up all the blocks and putting them in this bin, which if we click on it and press enter we can see that we have some blocks inside. So that's what I mean, that the bins can store items in, um, you know, multiple items in one square. And then he can just run and grab them from the bin as they go. Anyway, so that'll give us plenty of barrels and stuff to work with and allow our brewer to hopefully make up some more um, booze for our dwarves to drink. Ah, look, and that other level has finally been, been added. So let's add a new task. We'll link up a bridge, and it was this bridge that we have hadn't yet hooked up. So we're gonna set that to be hooked up using just basic shale mechanisms. And we need to wait for him to do his thing. All right, so we have our three stone storage sets, which means we should have plenty of barrels. Is this thing not set up properly to hold barrels? Did I screw this up? Eh, search, barrels, oops, barrels. Yep, barrels are set. There's one other thing. We should actually set a large pot and food storage to be able to be stored here as well. Oh, and you know what? You know why they're not being stored here? Because, again, I'm a bit of an idiot. We need to permit the uh, all these. It's just the type. I don't know why I keep setting these not to... So basically what we're saying is we could store barrels so long as they weren't made out of, it, out of anything and had no quality, which you're never going to find. That's why we didn't get any barrels there. Now we should see them store, storing some barrels here. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, no, he was just making ale. All right, that chime means that the uh, merchants are about to leave. So we'll let them leave before we start throwing levers and stuff. Because the problem with drawbridges, and actually now that I look at this, I probably should have left a little bit more room, is if there's anything on them when they go up, they will fling it into the air and could do some damage. If there's anything underneath them when they go down, you're going to kill whatever is underneath it. Not only are you going to kill it, you're going to completely remove it from existence. It's called, it's affectionately in the community called the Dwarven Atom Smasher because it will literally remove whatever's underneath it from existence. It actually can be a pretty good way to get rid of some uh, rather annoying items. All right, so they're walking away. So we'll just wait for them to actually leave, because they haven't yet. Go away. So I don't want to start throwing levers while you're all in there. That seems like it could be a dangerous thing to do. We might actually have to make this area a little bigger and kind of more off to the side, maybe, so that that way we can actually throw these levers without having to worry about murdering the, the poor ca caravan gar guys, because the people that have the caravan probably wouldn't appreciate it if we did that. Either way. So let's carry on 
as we were. What is the next thing we should probably be accomplishing? You know what we should probably be accomplishing? Is we should probably... We brought these damn cavern keys with us, and we still haven't set up a farm for them. Oh, uh, okay, they're going to come and pick those items up. So let's go ahead and get a cavern key farm set up. So the first thing we need to do is actually build a pen for them, and I think we're going to build it over here in this stony area where it's proven that we can't really do much as far as farming is concerned. So let's go ahead and set up a pen. I like a fairly large pen, all things considered, but you don't have to make it this large. Uh, I just like to make sure that there's plenty of room for chicks should we ever decide to breed the cavern keats, but for right now we're just going to take their eggs. You can set up a, a thing where you kind of breed and take eggs a little later on, and we'll probably do that, but for right now we're just looking for quick Sorry, and easy food sources. Job. So let them dig this out, and we're going to build uh, with B, door D, and place a door here so that we can lock that after we put the cavern keats in here so that they don't go running out all over the fort and everything else. Okay, so that's been done. Now we need to build nest boxes, which is shift N. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I think it's a, a technical one, is you cannot... Um, plan to build nest boxes. So you have to go through the regular, you know, place, shift N, move down, enter, enter, shift N, move down, enter, enter, shift N, move down, enter, 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 rinse and repeat until you're out of nest boxes. No, oh, okay, we're out of nest boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and let them set that all up. All right, so our stone office sets are done. So we should actually have a, yep. A area for these guys to live in fairly shortly as far as nobles are concerned because how many dwarves do we have so far what are we at for a dwarf count uh, what does it say 19 dwarves so we're just shy of having to actually have an office for our manager to work out of so that'll be our first thing ah okay here we go so now that the traders are gone and all the items have been removed let's go ahead and set up the airlock system like I was talking about before so what we do is we go down to our dining room, and this is the air, or the lever for the closest door. So we, what we do is we add new task, and we press Shift P for pull the lever. Pull the lever, clunk. After I resume, and any dwarf should come. That pulls the lever, and if we go here, see now we have a wall. Nothing can come in, and that basically blocks off that section of our fortress. No, I can't do it. And then, as I said, we wait for the guys to arrive, we wait for them to set up. What I'll probably do is, before the next caravan is due to arrive, I'll dig this out a little bit more. And so that way we can get them away from the drawbridges, instead of, you know, crushing them. But, we have more important things to worry about right now. So let's go ahead and... Are those uh, cavern keys set up yet? Yes, they are. And we can see we already have a cavern key roosting. What we're going to do is we press I... And we highlight this area, and we're going to set it up as a pasture. Just for all of our bearded cavern keats. Now we're going to store the, um, the male with them, but it's not required. Animals in Dwarf Fortress can mate by pheromones floating through the air, I imagine. I don't really know how it works, but um, they don't actually have to be near each other to be able to mate. So if you want to mate animals, and but you don't want uh, the animals to be necessarily near each other, it's totally possible. But for now, we're just going to leave the cavern keats here, and as they lay eggs, the dwarfs will come and collect them. Do I, do I not set anything up to grow in this? Nope, pigtails. They're there. Why are we not planting pigtails? Do we not have any... Let me see. Seed barrel. Plum helmets. Quarry bushes. Plum helmets. How did we run out of pigtail spawns? Did I forget to tell them that they couldn't eat the pigtails? Pigtails. Now they can brew them, which should give us pigtail spawns back. Why are we not... Okay, I don't know how that happened. That's really irritating. Because we now we're completely out of pigtails. For whatever reason. I cannot fathom. I'll have to try to figure out where those went. Because that shouldn't have happened. 
Unless maybe they went down here by accident. Did I forgot to forget to turn off seeds? Nope, seeds are turned off. Hmm, I don't understand that one. Not even a little bit. But that's okay. We can uh, we can figure it out later. So as we can see, we have the cavern keats going perfectly in there. Ah, and this is why this door hasn't been built. The construction was suspended. As I said, sometimes this happens. Just select it and why are we not, why can I not unsuspend? Oh, because it's been planned, not actually built. Never mind, ignore me. Normally when construction is suspended, you can unsuspend it just by pressing S. If it's planned, then they'll just keep trying to place it there, which is another reason why I like the planning mode. I guess we just haven't made any doors yet. Yeah. We haven't. Do we not have a stone crafter? We, in fact, do not have a stone crafter. Uh, okay. Well, you can take on stone crafting for the time being, since your other skill is not exactly useful. Okay, so now since this has been set up, we need to get a office for our manager. And if we look, our manager is Naglak. Actually, Naglak is pretty much doing everything right now, and that's okay, at least for now. So what we do is we go in here, and we have to basically assign all of these rooms to him. So, first his bedroom. So we'll set it to that, and we're going to assign it to Naglak. Then we go over to the seat, press R, make it the size of the room, A, assign it to, you guessed it, Naglak. And then down here to turn this into a dining room, a private dining room, for, again, Naglak. And now, when we let it run for a moment or two, and then press N, as we can see, Naglak now has the office he requires to do his job. So he shouldn't complain at us about not having a his requirements, at least not yet. As dwarves go on, or as you get more advanced nobles, they will demand better and better living conditions until eventually it's just dumb. <laughs> nobles are something every dwarf fortress player will come to hate in time. So, as we can see, our fort is ticking along rather nicely so far. Still have no defenses. It's something we should really work on. Uh, maybe we can do that in the next episode of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, for now, though, thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will be sure to answer you. And so long.